Filip Sadovic had an incredible season in 2011, shooting up the rankings into the top 10 and claiming his place as first reserve at the Barclays ATP World Tour Finals in London. A favourite with players and fans, he's known for his exuberant personality and, of course, those trademark sunglasses. Indian Wells provided us with the perfect chance to catch up with Novak Djokovic's Serbian compatriot. So just how far does Janko feel he's come in the last year? So it's been a long way, you know, my, my career was uh, a little bit strange because I was uh, I was a very good junior, then I was for a while on Futures, for a while on Challengers, and then suddenly, you know, almost out of nowhere, had a great last year from 49 to, to, to number 9. Uh, the main thing I would, uh, I would say is the determination to succeed, and I always felt that I was a hard worker, doing everything good on court, but just, I, I felt, I'm feeling I got that extra edge with the professional things that I'm doing outside of the tennis court. Off the course, there are plenty of things that interest Yanko. ATP World Tour Uncovered got an insight into one of his more colourful hobbies. Tattoos is, I feel, like Yanko outside of the court, you know. I'm, uh, it's a big hobby of mine. If I wasn't married, I would probably be completely, you know, all in tattoos. But my wife is, if I can say, holding me back on that matter. But I feel, you know, that, that's something, uh, you know, outside which I like and every tattoo has a personal and close meaning. With his popularity increasing in the last few years, Yanko is one of the players who's turned to social media to connect with his fans. I joined Twitter like a year and a half ago just honestly with an idea to follow my favorite DJs and see what kind of new mixes and songs are out. But then later on I discovered it's a lot of fun. You know, uh, I have a couple of fans there. I'm. I'm not trying to be entertaining, I'm just in a way informing them what's going on with me but not really just being like, a, like somebody who's just telling them okay I'm having breakfast and having lunch, trying to be a little bit of everything, uh, funny, sarcastic and just, just who I am. Some see similarities between Tipsarovic and Djokovic. Few players know Novak better. So after one of the most impressive seasons in tennis history, could Yanko have predicted such astonishing success for his friend and countryman? I honestly was surprised with the last season. You know, I, I knew that he had it uh, in him to become the world number one at uh, one point, but uh, I never knew that he could, have, he could have that season, the monster season that he had last year. He for sure was uh, like a little bit of an inspiration to me, you know, just having the privilege to have a first row seat and seeing what is he doing on day to day basis. I feel it helped me a little bit to develop my game and I'm not, I'm not, honestly, I'm not a shy person. I don't, you know, I'm going to go ask, I'm going to go talk to him, to, to anybody that I feel that can improve my game. So I really think that, you know, what he's done is incredible, first of all, for Serbian tennis and, uh, you know, I, I managed to, to steal a trick or two from him. <laughs> But how does the second best Serbian cope with the constant comparisons to the world number one? I don't really feel that I'm in his shadow, you know, obviously he's a way, way more successful tennis player than I am. But, uh, you know, if they, sure, if they compare, that's, that's fine, that's great. But, uh, you know, we had uh, a couple of matches on tour, he won most of them pretty tight. I, you know, managed to win even one last year in, in, uh, in London. But, uh, yeah, sure, why not? But I'm saying, you know, I was always saying ATP World Tour and, and tennis in general is big enough for all the guys who are good enough. There is enough, you know, uh, glory and success for everyone who is willing to work hard and, and, and make it. Fitter and more confident than ever, Janko Tipsarovic is emerging as one of the tour's most dangerous players. Novak Djokovic will tell you that. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, presented by Rio, we have a special report from the Sony Ericsson Open in Miami as the March Madness continues. His weight plummeted, his ranking rocketed. We spend some quality time with world number ace, Marty Fish. 
And don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news and talk with us on Facebook and Twitter. See you next week.